Oh. Hi. Is uh, Rudy Kohlander at home? Yeah, he's downstairs. Yes. I'm Rudy Kurlander. Who are you? Uh, can you uh, turn off the television? Do I know you? And now, please. Stand by the window. Who are you? Stand by the window. I don't do anything until you tell me who you are and why you are here. Let us not argue. Just stand by the window. to see the life on your face. Turn your head. Who are you? Don't yell. Please, don't yell. Do as I say. Turn your head. Are you German? Yeah. He's in Norddeutsch, huh? Yeah? How old are you? 88. Were you in the German army? What did you do? This is so long ago. English. Please, English. I do not like to speak German. It's 70 years ago. I was very young. That's just a question. Are you a Jew? Yeah. Were you at Auschwitz? No. We are too old for lies. I didn't know about Auschwitz until after the war. I was in North Africa with General Rommel. You have proof? Yes. Over there. When I became a U.S. citizen, the immigration officer asked me if I had ever associated with the Nazi government of Germany or worked at a concentration camp. I told the officer what I tell you. Yes, I served for my country. I was a soldier. I was a proud German, and that's what the men did. I'm still proud of my service. That's Rommel. As far as the Jews. I didn't care about the Jews. I thought Hitler was right. They caused many problems for the country. I thought we were deporting them or putting them in work camps. Not what they did. It was shameful, but that was not me. 